Within the broader context of my novel, fire is symbolic of and embodies several qualities ranging from that of courage, hearkening revolutionary imagery of a burning candle to that of safety, as a function of its use in forming campfires that warm and comfort those around it. For the sake of brevity, I will narrow my focus of fire symbolism to its destructive implications as a social use of control. Symbolically, fire represents a form of decimation that stands above all other agents of destruction. That is to say, when an object such as a book interacts with fire, it is irreparably destroyed. In the context of Fahrenheit 451, the state's predisposition against books and academia make them keen to use fire as a method of burning literature, erasing past forms of cultural thought with it. In fact, the, diff the reference to the number 451 directly refers to the temperature in Fahrenheit at which paper spontaneously combusts. Thus, the notion of inscribing the significant number in the helmets of each fireman serves to transform the same destructive potential contained in the physical presence of fire into that of the firemen. Moreover, the use of fire to control the population is provided to the reader at several instances throughout the novel, notably through the spectacle of incineration. Bradbury expeditiously introduces fire as a force that burns to bring down the tattered and charcoal ruins of history. A venomous substance that consumes both flesh and paper in a shrieking blaze. Such a scene was a common occurrence in Montag society, given the frequency with which he was sent to burn houses, and could reasonably be inferred to have a profound psychological effect on all watching the monstrous event highlighting to each and every member of society that books were a thing to avoid, as disobedience would mean complete annihilation.